this is Margaret from Sparkle and Sprinkle, and I want to show you how to make your own glitter ribbon. The first thing we're going to do is select some microfine glitter, dump it in your coffee filter. You take This is our terrific tape. I selected a half inch right here, and you're just going to put the glitter all over one side of the tape, and you burnish it in really carefully. Burnishing it means just pushing really hard on the on the glitter on the tape. Then you're going to turn around and peel off the other side of the tape so that you can put glitter on both sides. This time you have to carefully put the tape into the glitter and just push it along a little bit. You want to make sure that it doesn't stick to the coffee filter. You just want it to have a lot of glitter on it. You can pull all the excess glitter that you didn't use back off your tape, throw it away, and then you just again, like I said before, you burnish it. Isn't this neat? You can make this tape any color to match whatever you're doing so you don't have to look for your specific color anymore of ribbon. You just select the ribbon, the, the glitter that you used in your project. Now, this is kind of a flimsy uh, ribbon and it feels just like ribbon and it folds into a bow very easily, but maybe you want to use a ribbon and have a big more body to the ribbon. So in that case, if you wanted it to be more sturdy so you can make a stronger bow, then you would just apply another piece of tape, narrower than the first one because it'd be really hard to fit the same size directly over what you've already done. Peel the film off and you can just turn around, either put the same color glitter down or you can be creative and have a second color. But you can barely see that second layer which is right there. Then when you go to make a bow, it just has a lot of body. I don't know if you can see that or not, but see, it can hold up like this much better. Okay, so that's a lot of fun. And something else you can do, sometimes you put ruffles down on the bottom of your card or the top of your card. And what you do is you simply lay a piece of terrific tape down on your cardstock and then slowly feed your glittered ribbon into that. And I'll show you. I know it's be hard for you to see. But see? You can see how it's all ruffled and it just sticks there. So that makes a really nice... Um, embellishment for your card and the glitter ribbon's going to match the color glitter you used. So have fun with this. Have a good day.